let's let's kick off. O o what necessitated this workshop? Uh, to start with, um, you know that um, lately, last year, there were now and then on the newspapers that uh, we have our people mm -hmm. who are collecting the thrown away food mm -hmm. at the Kupefeld site. Uh, and there was now an outcry of uh, preventing such to happen. Uh, like enough that uh, coincided with the invitation that I got from the mayor of um, Bel Horizonte. Uh, but due to other equal importance um, responsibility, I could not attend. Mm -hmm. But since we believe uh, on sharing of responsibilities, I requested my deputy to attend this uh, gathering in uh, Belho Sunday. Uh, <laughs> and that's what uh, prompted us at least to, from, what, uh, w w from the experience that we have learned from this workshop, then we thought it was also at the right time because it was a, a sort of a coincidence why we are having this problem of uh, our people collecting the food from the um, Upefeld yes. uh, dumping site. And then we thought, why can't we uh, initiate such project that we come up with the uh, initiative of becoming with the a food bank? And that we have been also in collaboration with our uh, prime minister's office uh, spearheaded by the deputy uh, prime minister and uh, that now uh, make it possible for us to bring um, uh, this workshop to Namibia and uh, we started yesterday is going to be a three days uh, workshop where we brought all the mayors uh, of, of, of our local authorities in Namibia together with the chairperson mm -hmm. of, uh, of villages so we thought it's the right time that we come together and since the mayors are the one who are running the local authorities yes. and local authorities are the one who are interacting with our community members on daily basis we felt that it was a a, a wise idea that they should come and share with our uh, uh, colleagues expertise yes, yes. from uh, uh, all over the world and more specifically from um, uh, Brazil. From Brazil. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, uh, Ms. Fisher, from, uh, from the World Future Council's point of view, um, one of your aims and objectives are to, um, uh, to speak on behalf of policies formed in the interests of, of future generations. What are the kind of activities that the, the World Future Council embarks on? So our approach is we do believe there are good policies in the world that are worth spreading. Mm. So we have a process to identify, a research process to identify good policies, also based on the several principles of sustainable lawmaking. Mm -hmm. And then we aim to share these policies. We award every year one policy with our Future Policy Award. Yes. The winner in 2009 was the city of Belo Horizonte for their food security program that reduces malnutrition and hunger. And now we aim to share the solution for urban food security with other countries, with other cities. 